Hey guys, it's Krista Watson here from Krista Quilts, and today I thought I would just pop in for a few minutes to talk to you about my upcoming teaching schedule for 2023, let you know where I'm gonna be for the rest of the year. But before I kind of tell you where and when I will be, I thought first I would just share with you why. Like, why do I do this? Why do I travel the country and the world and teach? Well, mostly because I love it. Now, secondarily, it is my full-time job. And I really appreciate those of you that come and take my classes and support me because I have been doing this for over 25 years and I love it. Now, I first started back in the late 90s, kind of early 2000s, just teaching locally here in Las Vegas and I loved it. I would teach um, students how to make an entire quilt from start to finish and I would teach all kinds of things. I would teach hand quilting and I would teach piecing and I would teach a beginner class where we would actually make a quilt. And as I began writing books and teaching nationally, I just began focusing specifically on machine quilting. And that is my favorite love. So like I said, it is my job. I do travel, but mostly I teach because I love it. Now, if the pandemic and the lockdowns taught me one thing, it taught me that I need to be with people. Now I have done some online teaching and of course I love sharing my YouTube videos and I filmed three classes with Craftsy so you can definitely have access to those. But I realize I like being in person with people. I love to give you a hug if you've ever been in my class. I love to give you a high five. Um, I love to sit down at your machine and troubleshoot if we need to. And I just love the feedback that I get when I teach live. So although I don't really have a lot of plans for really doing virtual classes, hopefully you will be able to get to see me in a live class and hopefully I will come to you because I do travel all over the place. Um, the most exotic place I've ever been was Australia a couple years ago. And I do teach internationally as well. Um, in fact, I'm always looking to go to Japan or France or Europe. So, you know, if you're in a position to make that happen, I would love to come and see you as well. Um, speaking of fun exotic places, I've never taught in Hawaii yet. So if there's anybody out there that wants to invite me to Hawaii, go ahead. I may even give you a discount. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of talk a little bit about the behind the scenes as well. So like I said, why do I teach? Because I love it. It fulfills me. Um, there's nothing like being with a student who's maybe a little bit afraid of free motion quilting and I just sit down and I give them permission to play, permission to make mistakes, permission to experiment. And when that student has that big smile on their face and that light bulb lights up, I just know that they get it and that really fulfills me. It might be the mom and me, all my kids are all older and grown now, so maybe I just need to be needed, I don't know. <laughs> but it just gives me great satisfaction being in person, being among quilters who love quilting as much as I do. So that's the main reason that I do it. Okay, so where do I teach? I teach at all kinds of venues. Um, I teach at quilting guilds, like your local guild. I teach for quilt shops. Mainly they are Bernina dealers because I'm a Bernina ambassador. And then I also teach at national quilt shows. I've taught at festival, I'll be there again. I've taught at QuiltCon. Um, I just applied to teach at the AQS shows. So look out for that probably like 2024, 2025. In January of this year, I taught at Road to California, which was amazing. So I pretty much go all over and the way that it works is either the show promoter will contact me and they'll say oh we would love for you to teach so make sure you apply because you always have to do paperwork you have to let them know what you're teaching how long the class is going to be what the materials are you know what your fees are so um, they'll ask me to apply Sometimes if there's a specific show that I want to teach at, I'll just apply, you know, unprompted. And sometimes I, I get chosen, sometimes not, not a big deal. Um, I also will teach for guilds and they will come. Usually it's either a guild member that maybe has bought a book for me or knows who I am or follows me online and they're the program person for their guild. So they'll get me to come in. And then, like I said, a lot of quilt shops, I will meet them at quilt market or other Bernina industry events and then they'll get a hold of me and they will invite me out. And I'm normally booked about one to two years in advance um, because of the shutdowns of course everything got canceled and I had to reschedule a lot so I'm currently booked through the end of 2023 and then I'm accepting openings in 2024 but like I said the how it works is the person in charge of finding the teachers will usually contact me we'll fill out some paperwork maybe we'll have a phone call discussion and I pretty much teach the same thing I teach machine quilting but I change it up for the venue that I'm going to be at um, some venues want a three-hour class um, some places want a full day class, a six hour class. Uh, when I talked to Road to California, they wanted six days of six hour classes. 
36 hours of different classes. It was awesome. It was fun, but it was a lot. Whereas other shows will just want you to do like a one hour lecture or a three hour workshop or, or that. So I pretty much take what I like to teach and then I just kind of um, modify it to fit the venue. So the cool thing about that is if you take machine quilting from me at a show and then maybe I come back and I teach at your guild, it'll be a different class, even though it might be some of the same techniques. Now, speaking of guilds, I want to let you guys know that's one of the best deals that you can get. If you're a guild member and you bring in a national teacher like me or someone else, most guilds will supplement the uh, what they charge for their guild members. So even though I might be teaching the same stuff at a guild or maybe um, a big large national show, I still get paid the same amount. I still charge the same, but the, um, depending on the venue, it may be supplemented a little bit. So look out for that if you're in a local guild. Um, so what do they pay me? They pay me my daily rate, which I, I put on my website and then they will either pay my transportation to get me there, like air airfare or gas if it's someplace close that I can drive. Um, the hosting venue will put me up in a hotel. They'll make sure, uh, most of them, they'll pay for my food um, or give me a voucher of some kind, um, which is really, really great. So that all I have to do is really focus on the teaching. So that's just kind of a little behind the scenes for those that are interested in that. So what do we do in the actual class? Well, the way that I've structured my classes is um, I teach walking foot and I teach free motion. So sometimes it'll be like a half day class of just walking foot or just free motion or a full day class. So the most I would ever teach other than the six day classes at Road to California is I normally teach two days or I might repeat it. Or if um, a venue wants me to teach longer, like if they want me to teach multiple days in a row, then I will take a concept and I will expand it out. So whether you get a three hour class or you have two days of classes, you'll pretty much learn a lot of the techniques. So like I said, I teach walking foot quilting. I teach free motion quilting. I break down the process in a really easy way. And I also teach kind of some theory behind it. I do a lecture called How Do I Quilt It? Um, I'll do a trunk show um, showing quilts in person and talking more about the machine quilting. And then sometimes I'll talk about modern quilting. You know, if the venue really wants that, I will bring examples of quilts and talk about like what makes this quilt modern. So like I said, I pretty much adjust it to what the venue wants, but it's super fun. When I'm actually teaching, I use a PowerPoint presentation where I can actually draw on my computer and then it's projected on a screen so that everybody can see and they can follow along. And then I give the students plenty of time to stitch on their machines. If it's at a show, it's um, usually sponsored by a sewing machine company and all the students are using the same machine. If it's a smaller event or maybe like a guild, then people will bring in their own sewing machines, but it's the same thing. You can do walking foot, you can do free motion on any machine. Um, and then it's really fun for me because I know that I get lots of different levels of students in class. I'll get very beginners to more advanced. And so basically we draw out all the designs on paper, we draw the designs on paper, we do a practice sandwich, and then I talk about how you do that on a real quilt. And then while the students are practicing in class, I walk around the entire time. That's why I need to be in person, because I can walk around, I can troubleshoot. Um, those that need more help and more hand-holding, I will spend more time with them. Those that have been quilting for 40 years, maybe they don't need as much instruction. So it's a really good way to run a class accommodating lots of people of different levels and it works really, really well. So in fact, I thought I'll show a couple little snippets of some videos um, of some of the techniques and some of the practice sandwiches that we do. You may have seen these on my Instagram or my other YouTube videos, but this kind of gives a little feel for some of the designs we actually do in class.
Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about where I'm gonna be actually in 2023. Now, depending on when you see this, some of the events might um, have already come and gone, but my most uh, upcoming event, my next event is coming up in April. It's mid-April for the East Cobb Quilters Guild in Georgia. Now, I laugh because I will have gone to Georgia three times. I went to Georgia for QuiltCon. Um, uh, we're doing a family spring break trip in Georgia, and then I'm going back um, all in the same area, kind of the Atlanta area, Savannah area. Um, is where I'm going to be. But anyway, you can uh, check out on my website or my blog at kristaquilts.com the exact specifications of where I'll be. And I'll tell you a little bit more too in just a second. But one thing I do want to let you know, whenever I'm teaching at a guild, usually the way the guilds work is they open it up to their members first. And if there's any spaces in class, they will allow visitors. I've actually had students that maybe lived in the area but weren't part of a group and they contacted the guild. They said, hey, can I come take Krista's class? And they usually can accommodate you. So if you see that I'm in an area and it's like a like a guild or a shop, you sh can usually contact them and get in if there's space. So anyway, heading head to Georgia in April. Then in May, I'm doing a regional event, which I'm really excited about. I have been invited to be the featured guest artist at the Sodder Village Quilt Show, which takes place in, it's Northwest Ohio. I believe the city's called Archibald or Archbald. Some, sometimes I don't know how to pronounce these names. Um, I don't know what time zones I'm on. I just know that I'm going there and I'm gonna show up and teach. Anyway, Sodder Village Quilt show it's a big annual event may 3rd through the 5th so that's uh, wednesday thursday and friday two days of classes one lecture one trunk show that's going to be a big deal that's going to be a big event so that's happening may 3rd through 5th then later in may may 19th and 20th i'm heading to utah to teach for dave's bernina now the exciting thing about this i've been to dave's bernina before they are one of my favorite shops. I know you're not supposed to have favorites. They are actually the number one Bernina dealer in the nation, like in the nation. And I've taught for them. I think this is gonna be my third time teaching for them. I can see why they're the number one. They have excellent customer service. They have helpers during class. They, they treat me very, very well when I go there. And so that's wonderful. So on the 19th, I will be in the Provo location. And then on the 20th, I will be in the St. George location. Then coming up June 14th through the 17th, I will be at the Minnesota Quilter Show, which takes place in St. Cloud. Now that's gonna be a really great event. That's like another regional kind of larger show where they're gonna bring in a lot of teachers. I think Luke Haynes is teaching there. I think Jane Sassaman is teaching there. So, you know, if you wanna take their classes, great. If you wanna take my class, it's one of those places where you have a lot of classes you can choose from. So I'll be doing walking foot, free motion, lecturing, um, in Minnesota in June. So that's gonna be fun. Then in August and September, I'm heading to Florida twice. <laughs> so I've got the South covered. Uh, August 1st and 2nd, I'm gonna be teaching for the Quilt Guild of the Villages, which I'm excited about. And then another group just added on another event in St. Augustine. So again, check out my blogs for those specific links and details. So that's August 1st and 2nd. Then I come home for a little bit and then I go back out again um, September 14th through the 16th, I'm going to be at this amazing quilt shop called All About Sewing. And they have, they're a dealer for lots of different brands. I actually met them at an industry trade show last year. And so they invited me and we really connected. So All About Sewing, Mobile, Alabama, uh, September 14th through 16th. And then I'm gonna jog back over to Florida again to go and visit with the Pensacola Quilters Guild. So check that out for details. Um, and then I'm gonna wrap up my tour, my US tour with International Quilt Festival. So from October, what is that? October Halloween, October 31st through November 2nd, I will also be teaching several machine quilting classes. Um, I'm gonna do something new this year. I'm gonna be part of the machine quilting forum and it'll just be a lot of fun. So anyway, that was kind of a whirlwind of where I'll be. Go to my blog, kristaquilts.com. You can see all the details. If you are interested in inviting me to come, I would love to. Now I get a lot of people that say, oh, when are you gonna come to my area? When are you gonna come to my area? And the easiest way to make that happen, contact your local guild, contact your local shop, contact any um, show promoters that you know. They're the ones that have to invite me. Cause you know what? I'm an easy yes. When they say, hey, will you come and teach in such and such a place? The answer is yes, I will. <laughs> so I pretty much go wherever. I love teaching, it really fulfills me, it's my favorite thing I do, and I would love to see you in person someday.